Hi, I'm Sharon Beck with Max Senior. You know, when I look at the Apple logo and I see that bite taken out of it, it always reminds me of the Apple ID because that really is your first bite into the world of Apple. And it's easy to create an Apple ID for yourself. Let me show you how easy it is. You go to the internet and type in Apple ID and it'll take you to this page and then you just click on create an Apple ID and it takes you to this page. Now what I did was I created a fake person. I named her Mary Doe, um, just so that I could show you how easy it is to make an Apple ID. And I um, gave her an email address of Mary Doe at Comcast.net. And the fact that it took it, um, the fact that all green, um, all the little dots turned out green, meant that there has not been um, someone who's already tried to get an Apple ID by the name of Mary Doe. So when it comes to your password, the password needs to be at least eight characters long. It needs to have at least one capital letter, and it needs to have at least one number, and it doesn't want you to do a consecutive A, B, C, D, E, or one, two, three, four, five. Then it's going to ask you to confirm it. You type it again, and then you go down and you answer three different security questions. You'll have a choice as to uh, which question you want to answer on all three of them. And I think I chose my best friend in high school, which was Betty, and my, um, my favorite, or my dream job was working at Apple. And then the town that my parents met in was Sulphur Springs. Now, when it comes to your date of birth, it's very important to tell the truth about your age. I know sometimes it's a temptation to <laughs> skip this part. It always hurts my feelings when I have to do the year part and go back so far, but it's really important to tell the truth because if you uh, don't tell the truth, it can really mess you up later on down the road and lock you out. So it also wants a rescue email. This can be uh, maybe another email that you have. You might have a Gmail and a Yahoo email. It just wants some way to get in touch with you if your main email is down. Then it also wants your address, your physical address, uh, the town or city that you live in, and also the state. And then it also wants your zip code. Now, I always uncheck these two boxes because I don't need extra emails and my computer already goes to Apple's main page when I go online. It also wants you to prove that you're not a robot by typing in the suggested uh, letters in the box. And it's important to check this box to say that you have agreed uh, to the terms and conditions and then you're all set. Oh, I forgot one last step. You need to go to your emails and Apple will send you a verification. When you get it, you just click verify and then you'll be done. I hope this has been helpful. Bye-bye.